Shalom, my brothers and sisters. So I haven't discussed what's happening in movies and TV series for a while because there's just so much going on prophetically and in the world that we have to keep our eyes on that, you know, what at times it's exhausting to keep track of all of it. And thankfully, I've got a lot of beautiful brothers and sisters who send me the heads ups of the ones I miss every now and then. So I appreciate that. It's, uh, it's quite something being a watchman on the wall at a time such as this and like Moses sitting overseeing the battle it can't be done alone we need brothers and sisters to come alongside and lift our hands for us as we get tired and together we run the race to the end so in a break from all the news I thought and I've been meaning to do this one for a while let's talk about the new Avatar movie for a second right big box office smashed all the things they were expecting it to smash Everybody loves it. Incredible movie. Special effects, next level. You know, change the whole industry again, blah, blah, blah. So, the whole narrative they're pushing, that they don't want you to see immediately, is the false messiah narrative. Okay? Now, if you have seen the movie and you missed it, bear with me. In the end of Avatar, The Way of Water, they use an eclipse. Interesting, right? In much the same way as we see it here on Earth. As the faithful. The eclipse comes at a time of conflict that they all need to navigate through. Every one of the main characters is left changed by the eclipse. Jake and Atiri lose one of their children. Colonel Quatridge fails his mission. He would have died if not for Spider's intervention. On his part, he accepts him but wants to stand with humanity in the war, against humanity with the war. Every one of the characters chooses their side in the coming conflict and the eclipse defines them. So that's an interesting start right there that you should take note of. The interesting question though is whether the eclipse should be seen as an interruption in the order of Awa. Okay, now Awa is their god, planet god, right? Earth god, kind of like people want to worship Gaia. Mother Earth, all that right. Same thing. That's Awa. They communicate with her. She is all in all. Um, it hints that Awa is providing another way in the movie. Kiri is the messianic figure. A child of Awa who appears perfectly suited as an agent of reconciliation between the Navi and the Sky People. The battle in the third act, therefore, could be interpreted as a moment when the ways of Awa were abandoned, presumably a theme that will be developed by him as he continues the franchise. Now, the Navi, or how they refer to the Avatar people on that planet, Navi in Hebrew means prophet. So, the Navim, the prophets. So, that's interesting, because people love using Hebrew in Hollywood movies because there's so many Jews directing, whether they believe in God or not. Awa is their earth god, Gaia thing. And Kiri is born to an unconscious woman with no father involved. It's an immaculate conception. An absolutely perfect messianic setup right there. No one knows how this happened. She just arrived. Awa burst her from nothing. So, messianic. She has no need to breathe underwater like the rest of them have to learn how to hold their breaths and swim and go down and, and come up in time to breathe. She doesn't have to. She can stay under there for hours and she doesn't need to breathe because she's the Messiah. Every animal on the planet and in the sea loves her, communicates with her, swarms around her. Everything is more intense because she is the messianic figure. And this is what they're pushing. They're preparing the world for an alternate messiah that will seem like the perfect solution to a coming conflict and the sky people is this the return the return of the nephilim through the alien agenda and that there's a conflict coming between the sky people and the humans and this messiah figure is going to bring all together in peace and make everything work with signs and wonders i give you avatar the way of water god bless Keep looking up. We know the real Messiah. We don't need any fakes or second-hand knockoffs. Shalom.